pop that with my pop. Don't shoot a little, he gon' shoot a lot. I walk out with the top, bitch, I drop very hard. Uh, when you realize you weren't recording the whole video. Alright, what's up everybody? It's Elite here with another video, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Fortnite meme edit. So what you want to do is get a clip. I have a clip right here. Well, I have a few clips uh, to choose from. I think I'm going to be using this one right here, where I kill this guy. Uh, you want your clip to be very entertaining, or uh, just not boring. Unless you're a very, very good editor, and you can make anything uh, boring entertaining. I mean... Hey man, give it your best shot. So what I'm gonna do for this clip, hey guys, you wanna be creative, all right? You wanna think of uh, anything you can. So what I'm gonna do is, all right, so this guy right here, he's drinking a mini behind uh, this thing right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, one of those scanning things. So uh, I'm just gonna look up scan green screen. You'll see what I'm talking about when I find it. I think this one is going to work out well. I'm going to use this one, and I have an app called uh, 4K Video Downloader. I'm going to import this to After Effects, so I'm going to right-click and press Replace with After Effects Composition. This is like the worst part. It always has to uh, take a long time to load whenever I open up a new application. We're going to get this clip again. Oh, I need to turn off the audio because I don't want that. So... I'm gonna cut it just like that, and then I'm going to go to my effects and go to key light 1.2. And then I just click on the green, and then now uh, we have this here. Also, we should turn on motion blur because when we animate it, we want it to have motion blur because motion blur just looks good. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to animate the scale make it zero and then animate it to uh, 55 all right okay just like that it looks pretty good okay and then if we look at our clip over here uh, let's see what skin it was it was it was a girl skin all right so I'll just remember that it was a girl skin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a girl skin uh, one that has a ponytail it has to kind of match like that skin aesthetic. It doesn't have to match it perfectly And then I'm gonna go into creative whoop about to whoop whoop about to pull out the green screens You know what I'm saying? We're about to pull out the freaking green screens. Oh crap It's a mother freaking green screen. So all I'm gonna do basically is imitate what the other person was doing take it they were crouching and just drinking the mini. Alright, so that's all you need. And then you can leave the creative. Replay mode is where the magic is going to happen. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to record her drinking it. I can't really record it while I'm recording the video, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. And I recorded the video uh let's see the video is right about here all right so so i'm gonna cut it right here Control shift d and i'm also going to add a mask around her all right this is going to be a little confusing maybe so just pay attention uh so then i'm going to add key light bam then I keyed her out. So now I'm going to place her approximately where she was in the uh, in the video. Like she was behind there. So I placed her there. And I'm going to add a tint. She has to be green. So I'm going to map the black to green. No, to dark green. And I'm going to map white. I'm going to map white to light green. So now we have her as a green person. I also want this to be green. You really only have to map the white because, <laughs> because it's only white. So we're not done yet. We just have to. I'm going to make it so that there is a line that goes across 
Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-compose this right here. So we still have that. So I'm going to go into the composition and then I'm going to add a new layer, which is going to be green. Alright. Actually, no, it's going to be like, it's going to be green, but like a light green. Alright, and then I'm going to turn off the layer opacity and we're going to just make a line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add just it uh, just like that. All right. Uh, then I'm going to take it and change the blending mode to add. So it's going to be more of a, a glow kind of. And then I'm going to add a blur, a uh, fast box blur. I'm going to use that one. So it's not going to be like so solid, you know. And then all I have to do now is animate it. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the opacity. Uh, so start it. I'm gonna start it from zero. Then I'm gonna move forward a few frames and then make it 100. So now the opacity is animated. Then what I'm gonna do is animate the position so that it travels across the whole thing. And I'm gonna animate the opacity again so that when it reaches there, the opacity is zero. Okay, that's a beautiful animation. Okay, now, next step. We are going, we're going to make it so that she doesn't appear until the line travels across her. All right, so how I'm gonna do that? Uh, very, very simple, I'm just going to make a new layer it doesn't really matter the color there's multiple ways to do it but I'll just show you one way uh, that I think will work alright so I'm going to add a layer right here I'm actually going to change the scale of it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to turn off uniform scale so that I can change the width and the height separately. All right, it doesn't really have to be perfect. Um, all right. And I'm going to change the anchor point to right here. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to animate the scale of it. Uh, so when the line crosses over here, I'm going to change the scale so that it's behind there all right and then what we're going to do is ch change the position of it so now it's behind there okay and then you can uh, click down here toggle switches mode uh, go to track mat and then press alpha and then bam you have a scanning device How beautiful is that? Alright, so make sure to save it. Save all your work before it crashes and you're out of luck. And uh, we're going to add a transition. So I have a, a plugin called Motion Bro where I use my, uh, I make my transitions like that. It really, uh, I mean, I could make them handmade, but it's a real time saver to just make them with motion bro um let's see we can add music to it to make it uh to make it to fill in the sounds and we're also going to add sound effects specifically for uh this let's see Ow. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, that was good. Alright, SoundCloud downloader, bam, paste that link in there. You already know, download this song. Then we'll go into Premiere Pro, uh, insert song. For the sake of the video, I'm not really being organized. We can add a shake. Alright, we're gonna turn the music down for a little bit because we're about to add sound effects. Okay, that one works perfectly. Alright, so we're gonna go to YouTube to MP3, bam, paste the link in there. Alright, uh, also I'm gonna change the scale a little bit. So it's not just a shake, it's more of a zoom in shake kind of thing. So I'm gonna put that right there. And just make it extend for the whole clip. And I'm gonna turn down the volume just a little bit. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to effects and go to exponential fade. All right. So that's gonna make that. Uh, it's gonna make the audio kind of ease in a little bit. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the ending of it, so it kind of uh, eases out. Okay. I kind of like that. And then I want to add a uh, Minecraft sound effect. So we have the Minecraft drinking sound effect. So we're going to take that and we're going to drop that in here. And then we're going to All right, take that little portion and we're going to We're going to make the volume a little bit louder so we can hear it. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little motion here. So I'm going to type in a wiggle expression. Uh, I'm going to put in the parameters 1. And uh, let's try 20. So now, it won't be completely still. I'm going to make it so that uh, he's screaming, yeah. Probably like some Tyler 1 ear rape scream sort of thing. Move the anchor point right there. And scale, bam, bam, bam. And uh, we're going to animate the anchor point. Just like make it follow his head, you know? All right, we can't go too far up because it's going to go off the screen. Let's use this one right here. All right. You always have to have like loud screaming in these type of videos. Alright, so after that, uh, what I'm going to do is add tint, bam, uh, change black to red, and then the white is going to be like a lighter red, and change the amount to tint. Actually, I'm going to make it zero, then keyframe it up, and... Make it last over like the duration of the clip. 
so now you get that little red effect like it's minecraft kind of all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm gonna i'm gonna duplicate this clip okay and uh bear with me i'm going to change the blending mode to screen and then i'm going to go to fast box blur and change that up a little bit so we get a little bit of uh, glow there and then I'm gonna make it zero and I'm also going to keyframe the opacity of this over time to be zero and then now the glow effect oh wait no zero right there alright now the glow is gone So I'm gonna get the M1 ping sound effects. Okay. And I'm gonna place that right here. And then I'm gonna add another glow here. All right. Uh, and then I'm gonna add cross dissolve for a transition. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to change it to add, and then okay, there we go. Bam, shown folder, and place that right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keyframe the position. I mean, not the position, the opacity. I am gonna keyframe the position too. Let's see, all right. So just put it on his head. All right, I'm not about to edit a whole video. Let's see how many seconds we have here. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, 10 seconds. That's enough for uh, this video. So thank you everyone for watching the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys later. And make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Uh, join the Discord. Everything's in the, the description. So yeah.